okra. We've got some okra here that Eric planted and those seeds went in on November 20th. And today's Christmas Eve. Happy holidays. We're growing sweet potatoes in pots just because we're not quite sure where they're gonna end up. When we can and when space allows it, we like to plant a particular vegetable in two separate places. In this case, we have some of the sun gold tomatoes. We bought seedlings in maybe three to four inch trays from the Redland Grow Fest. You can see that these two are really tall. Kitty loves the sun. Oh. Sweet Bonnie. <laughs> Perfect weather today. Moose is passed out. <laughs> so cute. The tomatoes in this bed, they seem to be growing slower than the ones in those two pots. Makes me wonder if we did something wrong when we were mixing soil or, uh, I don't know. It's kind of making me nervous. Did some tight planting on the arugula to try some high density gardening. Bok choys are blowing. Such a beautiful color. We got a little bit of a head start on some plants. These were courtesy of the lovely ladies of Aloha Redlands, a farm and just gorgeous space not far from our new home down in the Redlands. They gifted us these lovely kale heads, which is perfect because We'll be able to harvest from these while our seedlings are growing up. Let's harvest these. Mustard greens for days. So beautiful. It's a lot of mustard greens. Yeah. We eat a lot of salads in this house. <laughs> these grow back so fast. We've been, this is our second year growing these garnet mustards and they just, they just kick butt every time. Yes, they do. Woo wee, yummy. Mara, he's your friend. Happy January 4th. Seminole pumpkins are going cuckoo. I see a sneaky vine going behind Matilda's condo. That's okay though. Let's see how this guy's doing. That is a good sized pumpkin. A kitty cat was found sitting on top of one of our seed trays, so we can just uh, assume that not too much might happen there. I see some of the romaine babies. Our paprika peppers looking good. Planted some more turmeric. We decided to plant some more seedlings today, but direct seed, because uh, some of our transplants haven't been surviving too well. So we'll see how that goes. For the plants that we are gonna start in seed trays, I'd like to keep these seed trays closer to the house or the kitchen area so that I can monitor them better. 
in these seed trays, planted some sunflowers, some random pepper seeds that I think were from a pepper plant from our Hollywood house, some more kale, collards, tot soy, butterhead lettuce, and some flowers. Raised beds are looking happy today. Banana circles looking good. These tomato bushes have really come a long way. They were looking like twigs for a while. Now they're kind of exploding. Have tomatoes coming up all over the place. Especially on this one here. Got all sorts of companion plants planted nearby, marigolds, basil. Hey, Eric. Hey. You want to tell us about some of the plants in the butterfly garden? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, what do we got? Well, uh, I guess it's best to start in the middle. Okay. Um, right here, this bushy plant we have here is a wild coffee. Wild coffee can be identified because it has these deep ridges in the leaves. They're shiny on top and they're kind of dull on the bottom. Oh, well, the they backside get, there. Yeah, neat. they get these beautiful white flowers that attract zebra longwing butterflies. Nice! Uh, on either side of the wild coffee, we have giant milkweeds. We had these at our last house. We sure did, and now they're huge over there. Yeah, they're monstrous. Milkweeds are good for monarchs, queen butterflies. Um, they do attract them. So over here we have scarlet milkweeds. Uh, they're a little thinner. When we got these, they were covered in flowers. They had a bunch of leaves on them. And you can see that the monarch uh, caterpillars have already got to them. Uh, and they've probably moved on at this point and they're forming chrysalises somewhere. Uh, but these get these conical looking seed pods that when they open, the seeds just kind of burst out and they have little parachutes on them. So they just float around all over the place and you wind up having volunteers all over. And that's what we have right here. Oh. The volunteers pop out. Yep. Cool. A couple little ones. Yeah. All right. What's this guy over here? Next to this, we have a necklace pod. Necklace pod. This is why they call it necklace pod right here. Like beads. Yeah. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Sounds good. Here's a golden rod we transplanted finally. Another butterfly attractor. Normally has uh, yellow beautiful flowers. Yeah. yellow flowers. Golden yeah. yellow flowers. A couple of celosias. Uh, we have pink celosia and then we have a yellow celosia on the other side. Super pretty. Yeah, very pretty, very ornamental. Here in front of the wild coffee, we have some lantanas. And when we got these, they were just covered in flowers, but of course they come and go. But you can see that they're starting to get buds all over them again. And these are also butterfly attractors and pollinator attractors. So you'll find bees and all sorts of stuff around these. They're lovely. Mm -hmm. There's the yellow celosia. Pretty. And what's that one over there? It's a shrimp plant. <laughs> uh, shrimp plant. <laughs> Common name is the shrimp plant. Uh, and when it, the flowers bloom, they look like little shrimp coming out. They're cute. Another pollinator attractor. And then last but not least, Oh, our sad cranberry hibiscus. Yeah. <laughs> we planted the butterfly garden around the perimeter of the sapodilla tree. It does get more light later in the day. Any of the fruit that we miss or leaves that fall can just drop right here and provide goodies to the soil. So the whole idea behind this is to attract pollinators to the garden. Awesome. Uh, so we have the butterfly garden over here in really close proximity to our vegetable garden. Perfect. We have vegetables in there that also need to be pollinated. Right, so we, we welcome them. <laughs> oh, Moose. I hope you're not tired of mustard greens yet. You've got more of a long way.